Hey cruisers, welcome back to Cruise Gear. I'm Sherry and we're so happy to have you here. I'm wearing my winter sweater today because you know, it's 65 outside. <laughs> So those of you who are like in the chat right now or you're dealing with snowstorms or some kind of other dramatic weather event, you're probably hating me right now. But I was cold, so I put on my winter bulky sweater. I feel so bulky in this. I feel like it's like adding all this bulk, but I love it. I just got this through Stitch Fix, by the way. Um, it was a little bit of a splurge, but I did decide to go for it. So anyhow, so glad you're all here. We're going to unbox everything tonight. There's so much to show you all and some surprises, some non-box surprises that have come in recently. So this is gonna be like an unboxing mixed with a haul. And I don't have a cocktail. I don't even have a LaCroix. I don't have anything to drink because I got home from work kinda late and things just started rolling and happening. So let's get this party started. Thank you all so much for being here. Since we have so much to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and have Mr. Cruise Tips TV get ready to go to the mini camera because we're gonna jump right into it and show you one of our Pura Vita bracelet club um, stacks. This is a monthly bracelet subscription that's $15 per month and it's absolutely one of my favorite non-cosmetic things. And I have two months of stacks that I'm going to show you. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, let's go to camera two and I'm gonna lay down this bracelet stack. This must be the September or October stack. I don't even know which one this is, you guys. I tend to get a little bit disoriented with these, but look at this little tiny skull on this stack. Is that not the cutest thing? Can you see this little skull right here? So cute. Can you see it, honey? Okay, I'm gonna pull it in close, guys. Here it is. Little tiny baby skull on the stack. So this is the set, the stack for, gosh, it's either September or October. I save them all for you, but it has like this nice striped one, a little beaded one, and then little, this little skull looks like it has little roses on it or something. It is so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna sh leave it right there while I open the second one. There was actually a bonus bracelet that came with this one that was so pretty. It said, be kind, and it was the second one that came in the um, kit. It was like a little bonus. In addition to, the one that was part of the pack. Can you see this okay? It's a little bit dark, I know, but anyway, it's aqua colored and it says be kind. That is so beautiful. I will wear that one all the time. In fact, I kind of want to put it on right now. So that was one of the stacks recently. There is a referral link in the description if anybody's interested in signing up. Um, they have really great sales, but the monthly club doesn't go on sale. It's always $15 a month and it's a ton of fun. So what does everybody think? Shall we go to the next one? Patricia, thank you very much. I have been doing more of a deep part with my hair and I kind of like it too. Okay, this next one is so pretty, so unique. I'm gonna bring it in right now, Mr. Cruise Sips TV. Here we go. Here is the next stack. Again, I don't know if this is September or October, but it is so gorgeous. It has this kind of creamy, um, uh, bracelet on the top with this little gem. And then it has a black bracelet with little moons and stars on it. And then the bottom one is another seed bead with a kind of a gray base with gold and cream. So pretty. I love it when they mix it up with their metals a little bit. And these colors are just nice because you can wear them with anything. So this is the Second one that I've been wanting to show all of you. So those are our Pura Vitas from the last few months. We're obviously behind on unboxing. I think we just have to admit that we kind of do quarterly unboxings around here. It doesn't happen every month. We've been so busy and we vlogged Toberfest on our other channel. It just got kind of crazy. I wanna see what everybody's saying in the chat. Oh, you guys are so fun tonight. We have 100 people here. My goodness sakes. Thank you so much. And Blue Girl Deb, thank you very much for the compliment on the sweater. It feels really bulky to me. You know me, I like my off the shoulder, kind of resorty looking stuff, but I needed a change tonight and I just wanted to wear my holiday sweater. So I'm gonna take these out of camera too and then we are going to proceed on to some other surprises. This next item is actually not from a box. Natasha, who is in the chat tonight, as many of you know, she is a 31 distributor or a 31 consultant. And we had a party, a 31 party in October, and I had some hostess credits to use. So Natasha, said go on the website and find something that you want and let's get you hooked up. So I had uh, a few hostess credits and I spent a little extra to get this beautiful bag. Now I don't know if you can see this, but I had an anchor 
embroidered onto it. It's actually an everyday purse though. This one is called, um, what is this called? Okay, this is called the Organizing Shoulder Bag and the color is Distressed Pebble and then I had what's called the First Mate design embroidered into it in chestnut brown. So if you wanted to try to duplicate this little shoulder bag, by the way, it does come with a strap, a shoulder strap, and I'll show you the inside of the bag. You can't see it very well, but I'll put it inside of the camera two area. But if you wanted to have this duplicated, again, this is the organizing shoulder bag. I didn't even have time to get a link to Natasha's um, website, but Natasha, if you wanna put a link in, if anybody wants to check it out so they can shop your site, that'd be awesome. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it into the camera two area so you can see the pretty detail of the anchor. I know it's really difficult to see in here, but I'm gonna try to hold it up a little bit so you can see the detail. I know it's, you know, can't show you the whole thing very well. But there it is, and I'll show you the inside. It has this little outer pocket where you could slide your cell phone in. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that in an area where it needs to be secure. And then this is the inside, so it has a few different pockets and some zippered areas and things like that inside. So cute, I love it. I'll try to turn it on its side so you can see a little bit better. But I like the, um, the brown on brown look. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back out. So cute. Oh, and there's another little, oh, there's another little um, pocket here on the back side. You could probably actually fit your cell phone in there. So pretty. Isn't this great, you guys? This is like a total everyday bag. I'm not even going to use it for travel. It's just going to be my purse. So thank you, Natasha, for helping me to make that happen. It's really cute. Love it. Thank you, Carol. I think it's really pretty, too. Seth, you should have brought me a drink. Gosh, man, where's my bartenders when I need them? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what do you guys want to do? How about we do some Target unboxings because, oh, you know, we have just a few Target boxes to unbox. So let's go through them quickly. I think this is the most recent one. I think this might be the November box, actually. And this one has some pretty cool treasures in it. So what I'm going to do is start placing everything one by one as I talk about it into the camera. But this one's called Beauty Boosters and it has some really neat things in them. So let's just go to camera two, Mr. Crucible TV, and I'm going to just one by one pop everything in there that we see. Are we ready? Okay. The first thing is this eyebrow and eyelash serum. Let's see what it says about this. Why isn't it? In, oh, I must have, you guys, I think I have the wrong card in here. Yeah, I think I have the wrong description card because it's just not showing me the description of this product. Huh, how strange. Maybe it was a bonus item? I don't know, let's move on. Next up is a Pantene Leave-On Detangling Milk. Yes, please, infused with argon oil. That is humongous, it's three ounces. You guys, that's perfect for a cruise. Next is a hydrating buttercream, 2.6 ounces. That looks like it's some kind of an after shower type of a thing. Ooh, that is so nice. Yeah, that's an argon infused, oil infused hydrating cream that melts into wet or dry hair to soften and tame frizz. Okay, then we have a Fructis Sleek Shot. Cuts the sleeking time in half. You mix it with your shampoo. Rinse and condition and blow dry to cut your sleek time in half. Well, I need sleek time, that's cool. I've never heard of that. And then we have some, it looks like there's some vitamins here, you guys. This is cool. Check this out. Some Ollie Undeniable Beauty Multivitamin Gummies. I'm going to have to keep those away from Junior. He'll try to steal them and I'll have to tell them they're adult. And then the next thing is a Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Radical Refresher Body Wash. So you guys, I'm so confused. Oh, here's the description of this Sunny Isle stuff. Let me take it out. I finally found it. It was just really misleading. Okay, here is what the bottle looks like. Okay, I'm gonna read you the description. This is Jamaican Black Castor Oil Eyelash and Eyebrow Grow Serum. It comes with a little um, thingy. I forgot what that's called. Y'all know what that's called. It is a serum formulated with castor oil to help promote hair growth so brows and lashes look thiller, thicker, fuller, and lusher than ever in just three weeks. Hmm, do you guys think it'll actually work? I hope so. So what do you all think about this first box? Mr. Cruise Sips TV, go ahead and switch back to my camera. I'm gonna take everything out. This is, a, I think this is a pretty cool, unique box. More bang for your buck. I think for $7, getting a lash serum and some full-size samples is pretty cool. I love trying new vitamins too, so I'm down. This is really unique. 
I have, there's absolutely no repeats in this box and no repeats to me is a huge win. I liked that one. Very cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. I see a whole lot of 100K subscriber talk going on. This is why I love you guys. Okay, do you guys wanna see the men's Target Beauty Box? Check this out. This was last month. There's a link in the description for just generally searching Target. My recommendation is you click the link in the description and then just type in Beauty Box once you land and see what boxes are still available. But this is cool, you guys. The men's, the men's got a box last month. And it says moving and grooming. So let's put everything in the box and see what we've got here. The first thing we have is a Dove Men in Care deodorant wipes. It looks like this is a pack of 10 pre-moistened towelettes. That's kind of cool for like after a shore excursion or a workout and you're feeling kind of stinky, you can clean up with that. This is a suave three ounce men's citrus rush something or other. It looks like it might be a shampoo and body wash. I'm not sure. Yep, it's a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Oh, Junior's gonna be fighting for that. He's really into like men's sample size toiletries. This one is a Head & Shoulders Men Advanced Series. Looks like Head & Shoulders um, is coordinating or collaborating with Old Spice for the scent on that one. That's kind of cool. And then uh, Crest Gum Sensitivity Toothpaste. Again, Junior will love that. Ooh, the art of shaving. Check this out. A travel sized shave oil, shaving cream, and shave balm. And you guys, again, I think this whole box was like maybe seven bucks. And then one last thing in here for the guys. It is a Bendito Mask Bar Chill a Minute Cream Mask for dudes. That is super cool. What do you think about this one, Mr. Fruits TV? He just kind of got this look like, well, I'm not gonna put on a mask, babe. What that is? You scared I'm, I'm of it? Not sure if I want it or don't want it. You don't. It. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what is that? <laughs> I think we should put that on you tonight. Take a picture for Instagram. He's like, absolutely not. That will never happen. That is a cool box. A little bit different. A lot of times the men's boxes, I notice that they come with razors. There's no razor in this one. There's no deodorant except there's deodorant wipes. But again. I'm giving them points tonight for uniqueness because I love it when they mix it up a little bit. Okay, I wanna take a break from the Target Beauty Boxes and show you guys something that was gifted to me by a friend for my upcoming trip. It turns out that a very dear friend of mine, Heather, um, who I've known for probably 15 years. We recently reunited and I've been following her on Instagram. I knew she had a skincare company, but she gifted me several of the products to try out and they are so cool. I've been using them for about a week now and I'm so in love with them that I wanted to show them off to you. Her product um, line is called heathergraceskincare.com. Again, heathergraceskincare.com, just like it sounds. And she gave me a beautiful little travel kit for my upcoming cruise. So it comes with pumpkin enzyme face wash. This actually has a bit of a lemongrass scent. It doesn't smell like pumpkin to me, but it has uh, pumpkin enzyme in it, which is wonderful for cleansing your face. It also has a rosy glow mask in here. And this is a dry mask that you mix with either this hydrating mist, or you can even mix it with yogurt or just water and put it on your face so you can make it more of an exfoliating experience or more of a mask experience. And then the last item is definitely one of my favorites. This is the, um, this is the um, Daily Repair Serum, and this is basically a nourishing face oil. And this time of year, I like a real hardcore oil on my face, so I'm gonna put everything out on the little table here so you can see it. And we will keep you posted on how these are working. You can check out her website. It's heathergraceskincare.com. There's everything. I'm gonna try to prop this up a little bit so you can see it. And this is the little rosy glow that um, you can use as a mask. And then I also got this wonderful product that I've been using from her. This is the hydrating fluid. This is a nice daytime hydrating fluid and it does not have an SPF in it. So this one just has good anti-aging properties in it, almond oil, vitamin B, avocado oil, antioxidants. I'm loving this for daily use on my face and decollete. And then she has this incredible 
ro body butter rosebud. It smells, you guys, like rose petals. I kind of want to open it up and show it to you really quickly too so you can see the consistency. But I've been putting this on my calves for the last few days and it is a lifesaver. So it's giving me a break from my normal um, uh, oil. And the last thing is this cayenne pepper salve. This is a very potent, amazing salve that you can use on muscle aches and things like that. It's super cool. What are you, why are you smiling at me? I was just wondering if you could put that stuff in a smoothie. You can't put the, it's very spicy. I, I you don't want to put it as, it, would you put Ben Gay in a smoothie? I might. You might. Yeah. It would, it would smell and taste a lot like Ben Gay because it has that very, that very potent smell to it that just, makes you, I'm just hungry. <laughs> you're just hungry. Well, anyway, you guys, if you would like to, you, it actually probably would taste pretty good because it's made out of coconut oil, cayenne pepper, amica oil, which helps with inflammation and circulation, menthol, I don't know if you want to eat the menthol, and shea butter. But anyway, it's great for sore muscles, arthritis, scars, general aches. I've been putting it on my neck lately. It has been, my neck is in such bad shape, you guys. I'm still struggling with like shoulder tension, but I just wanted to share these with you. They're so beautiful. And the travel kit is really great for a cruise. Um, she has a great website too. You should check it out. Okay, I'm gonna pack this back in the little cute bag that it came in. And then we are going to, oh, that doesn't go in there. We're gonna move on to the next item. Putting it back in the order that Heather taught me how to use all of this in. And if you have any questions about it, definitely let me know and I can help get those answered for you. Okay, so let's go back to Target Beauty Boxes and see what we have. This is the next one. This is probably, this is probably September or October. You know me, I always get them out of order. Yes, Joe Dura, you can use that salve for your back that you hurt trying to do body pump. Oh no, I'm pretty sure that my injury too is due to changing my exercise routine and like upping the intensity in some areas because it was, it correlated. My shoulder and neck pain correlated with when I changed my routine, but it feels so good. And it, it like, tingles so you know that it's working. I actually have it on right now and it's like kind of keeping me feeling cool and comfortable. Okay, next one is called Glow Into Fall. This is another Target Beauty Box and I'm just gonna start putting everything into the little camera area. Oh, you guys, a full-size razor, check it out. Here it comes, an Intuition Travel Pack. This looks like a weird, what is that? I think it might come with some kind of a cartridge and that's what's making it look unique. So we have that. It's a sensitive care razor, it says. That's kind of cool. And then we have a Miss Spa Hydrate Facial Sheet Mask. So a mask for the men and a mask for the ladies tonight. And then we have a Tresemme, it looks like a shampoo and conditioner, low lather shampoo and conditioner kit. Ooh, a nice full size nail file. I need, oh, it's two actually. There's two of them in there. I need a new one for work, so I'm gonna take that into the office. And then, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of antiperspirant. I don't understand why they're giving a little sample of that. It's called Rose Silk. It's some kind of little sample of their dry serum antiperspirant. That's kind of cool. So, let me ask you this, ladies and gentlemen, about antiperspirants and deodorants. I would love to hear, if it's not too personal, I'd like to hear what you're using. Are you using a classic antiperspirant and deodorant combo? Are you using just a deodorant? If so, is it a natural deodorant or just an antiperspirant? Or have you gone totally natural and you're using all of those natural brands? If you're comfortable sharing that with me, I would love to know. I'm trying to transition over to natural brands and I go back and forth. I feel like sometimes, like when I'm at work, I feel like I want and need like a full antiperspirant deodorant, but on the weekends, after work, on vacation, I feel like I can go with more of a natural product if that makes sense. But when I'm wearing like a blazer and I'm feeling like I'm under pressure, I feel like I need a full on product, but I'm concerned about the health implications. So yeah, I know Seth, razor blade and sensitive should not be in the same sen sentence. Wouldn't you agree with that, honey? No, yeah, I know. My husband's always like, oh, shaving is just horrible. Okay, so Blue Girl Deb only uses natural. Julie uses a combo. Janina uses a combo. Peggy uses a combo. Yeah. Um, Pascal uses straight deodorant by Love Beauty and Planet. Ah, very good to know. Thank you. I think I have a sample, Pascal, of the Love um, Beauty and Planet. Okay, so Wicked Wonder, you're using Secret Clinical for work. That's good. Those really help with the sweating. I like that. 
Okay, and then April uses a classic combo. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just deodorant. Karen Lalonde, I like Kopari as well, and I do like Native as well. I, I've got both of them. I like, the Kopari feels slimy when I put it on. That's the only concern I have. Um, yes, Brooke, we do take travel size things on our cruises, and I always take them from here. Um, Karen said, does the skincare have essential oils for fragrance in them? Yes, some of Heather's um, product line does have essential oils in it. I'm not sure exactly which ones, but a lot of them do have essential oils. So if that's something that you like, you might want to check out her website and see um, what you think about that. She has an Instagram page too. Okay. Um, yes, I, I got Joe Dura's a little bit earlier. Thank you for that, sweetie. And thank you everyone for sharing what types of deodorants that you use. It really helps me to know. I've been feeling a little frustrated that I haven't been able to transition completely over. Okay, so I don't know. I'm not crazy about this box. I think it was good. I like the nail files, but I feel like the little sample packets aren't really, an I, don't, I don't feel like they're enough. I like to see full size things. I'm not complaining, I'm just comparing. You know, if I had to pick, I think I would say that I really liked the earlier box. So let's check the next one. This was either September or October. You know me, I don't know. <laughs> Seth, you use Native. What scent of Native do you use? This one's called Your Autumn It Kit. And Mr. Chris did TV, I'm going to stack everything in. Okay, it already won my heart because it has lashes. Are we on camera too? You guys. A set of two faux minks from Ardell would already be about seven bucks. We just paid for the cost of the box with those faux minks. So those are nice, ultra soft, lightweight ones. Those are pretty dramatic lashes, but they're nice. Head and shoulders making another appearance. There's so many head and shoulders products in beauty boxes these days. They are going big. So a shampoo and a conditioner. And then we have, ooh, you guys, Vaseline Extremely Dry Skin Rescue. If you saw my haul video, you know I've been struggling with dry skin. Ooh, look at this. A number seven booster serum. That's a nice little product. Next up is Illumine Intense Hydration 24 Hour Moisturizer. That looks like it might be for the face. And then we have another toothpaste, a 3D white toothpaste. Okay, I like this one better than the last box. This is much nicer. And don't forget, you always get a $3 off coupon in these little guys, but they expire. Like this one already expired October 31st. But it's $3 off your beauty purchase of 15 or more, and there's always a description on there. And then of course you have the card on this side. Very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out. That was all of my Target beauty boxes. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Display Box. Um, some good stuff in there. I think I'll set some of it aside for my cruise. Um, I definitely, this is probably my favorite item from our Target boxes all night. Absolutely love these lashes. And just the value proposition with this. Lashes are so expensive. So that did not come with the glue or anything. Isabel, these are all Target beauty boxes. Seth, you're using unscented native. Okay, that's really good to know. Okay, cool. Yeah, so many good ones in here. Mike and Cheryl said, I need that moisturizer booth shampoo for my hair. Yeah, I know, right? Jerome, the dry winter weather hit you early and your hands are showing it. So are mine, Jerome. I feel like the skin on my hands is gonna, is gonna crack. And it's not even that cold here, but we had a few nights where we got down to freezing and it just, the, the, um, the humidity level in our house dropped so low. I felt like my hands were gonna crack and my calves are just like in desperate mode. So let's look at Ipsy. Ipsy I think is our last little bit of stuff. These are my two Ipsy boxes. And I did label these. This is the September Ipsy. So we're gonna start with this one and then we'll do October after that. So September Ipsy, this is Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is a monthly subscription. Ipsy actually has three subscription levels now. They have the bag, the Glam Bag Plus, and then they have the, I think it's called the Glam Bag Ultimate. And you can use my friendly referral link if you'd like to. It's in the description. It is not an affiliate link. It is a referral link that anyone, any of us can grab out of our Ipsy um, account. So it's pretty cool. I know, Jerome, you wash your hands a ton, and I bet you have to do that for work or just life, right? Okay, first item in the box, and I'm gonna kind of read it first before we go into the, um, into the second camera here. 
This is a Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. Now this is a full five ounces. Many of the items that you're gonna find in the Glam Bag Plus are full size. These are not sample size. So this is definitely gonna just go right into my shower for exfoliating my face. I'll pop that in. Okay, next up we have, ooh, fancy you guys, a Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box and display it really quickly in here without blinding us all with the mirror. Oh my goodness, hello. There it is. Very nice, very nice contour thing there. I don't want that mirror to become a problem, so I'll just leave it like that. Okay, and then next up we have another, I don't know, if this might have been an add-on item, you guys. This midi palette from Miller Squad might have been an add-on, but here it is, another beautiful palette. I don't even know what this is. It looks like blush and highlighter. You guys know me, I'm so bad with makeup. You're gonna have to train me. Okay, next up is a Bobbi Brown shade of lipstick in, oh no, this isn't lipstick, yo. This is mascara. This is a Bobbi Brown in black. Very nice. Bobbi Brown makes really good mascara, so I'm excited about that. Next up is a Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Brow Pencil. Ooh, I like it. Here's what the box looks like, by the way. I'm going to try to open this up and take it out. It doesn't want to be open, so no, we're not gonna open it right now. It's gonna fight with me, so I'm not gonna do it. It'll take all night. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this box. I think this must this must have been an add-on. Okay, and the next one is the Ilamsqua Anti-Matter Lipstick in Cosmic. This is a really pretty shade. I almost exclusively, let me get that a little bit closer. Sorry for the focus issues there. I almost exclusively use lip scents these days, but that is a really pretty pink, and I might actually consider it. What's that? No, you're okay, everything's good? Okay, cool, and then the last item, again, I don't know if this was an add-on or if this came with it, but it's a Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. These are always nice to have on hand. I find that, unfortunately, these translucent powders tend to break out my skin a little bit so I don't use them as much. There's something about the boxes tonight that's just really difficult to open. And when you have got dry skin, you do not want to be opening boxes. Yeah, Jerome, your wife would agree. I know, right? Bobbi Brown products are wonderful. I love their beach perfume. Good stuff. Blue Girl Deb said it's too expensive, which is why I love getting it in a beauty box because the only thing I generally buy from Bobbi Brown currently is um, the beach fragrance. Other than that, it is really, really too expensive. Yes, Isabel, this is a great box. I agree, I really like it. So let's put everything away and look at the next one. I liked this one a lot too. I thought it was a really good win. So, how you doing, Mr. Cruz Sips TV? Good? Cool. How's everybody in the audience? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh no, I can't seem to keep everything Organized. We're making a huge mess here in the set. You guys, you should see the, the other side of the set. What's going on there, kitty shirt? <laughs> All right, this is the next Ipsy box, you guys. This is my October Ultimate Glam Bag, and we are going to open it up, and I'll give you just a quick glimpse. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of times I do add-ons, and also I redeem my review points. If you redeem your items, you get little points and you can get additional things added to your bag. Now, one thing that they've started to do with the Glam Bag Plus is they've started to include the actual bag that they include in the regular subscription. So if you just had a regular Ipsy subscription and you upgraded to Plus and you missed the bag, now you get it. This is adorable. You guys could use this as a cell phone and lipstick bag on a cruise. This could be like your dinner purse. It's sequined. It's so cute, except for this little Betty Boop looking character on the back. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's kind of silly. Okay, let's see what else is in the bag. You wanna switch to the other camera now? Okay, let's do it. Okay, we've got a giant five ounce pure skin face cleanser. This is an amazing product. I've used it before. It's from First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty is one of my favorite brands. Fantastic and I love it. The next item we have is No Problem Priming Water. Touch and soul. Let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. Ooh, priming water. Okay, experts in the house, how do I use a priming water? I'm assuming that I just put it on over my moisturizer or under my moisturizer. Please help a girl out. I do not know. Seth, he is not wearing his romper. 
tonight, but he is wearing quite the kitty shirt. And you don't have the second camera sh set up, can you, do you? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. You guys, look at this blush palette. This is so gorge. Okay, I'm gonna move that mirror a little bit. Blush palette, quick look at it. I know that there's a lot of reflect reflection issues, but there's three different shades in that blush palette. That's super pretty, and talk about full size. I'm getting a few too many blushes, though. I don't, I don't use that much blush. I can't go through it. All right, we've got a Betty Boop eyeliner right here. That's a nice one. I'm assuming that that is a liquid black liner. And then we have a Jolie Spectra stick, and I do not know what this is. I'm assuming this is some kind of a highlighter stick. Here's the box before I'm opening it. And I don't know exactly what to do with this. So what does everybody think? Is this some kind of a highlighter stick, a Spectra stick? I don't know what to do with it. Please help. <laughs> you guys. I don't know, am I your beauty authority? I don't think so. We're all just a community here. We try to figure it out as we go. The last item in here is a set of brushes, Farah brushes. These are really nice. I'm gonna take them out of the bag. You can't see them at all in that. Um, oh, why is everything so impossible to open tonight? You got, I think I just got it. Sorry, making up too much noise here. Okay, so we've got a 20 double F straight, straight brush. Sorry about that. And then we have a Cheeky uh, End 218, that looks nice. And then we have a stippling brush. Ooh, you guys, this is actually pretty cool stuff. These are really fancy brushes. Are Farrah brushes known to be pretty good? Wow, I like this one, this is good. Okay, we can go back, Mr. Crucibs TV, to camera one. I wanna see what everybody said. Isabel said it's a concealer stick. Julie said it's a concealer stick. Oh! I did not know that. Okay, so Karen and Isabel told me that I need to put the priming water on over my moisturizer and under my foundation. Wonderful. And it says it's flour, water, and oil. I like the fact that it has a little oil in it because the last thing I wanna do is dehydrate my skin. Very good, thank you so much, ladies for letting me know exactly what order I needed to put that in. All of my experts are here. Yes, Carol, I would agree that the brushes look wonderful too. Okay, Peggy, you say it's a highlighter, not a concealer. I know, Karen, I, a Farah brushes, who knew? They look really nice, they look very high quality. Um, can somebody tell me what a stippling brush is for? I feel like, okay, it's got a flat top. What is a stippling brush for again? I feel like I should know this, don't quiz me, but I would love to know the answer. Everybody's so helpful. Okay, so everybody's saying it's a highlighter now. I know, Jim, it's just your natural beauty. No makeup for you. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I know, Pascal, you work overnight in the dark. No one can see you, no one cares. I wish I had that type of a job. I wear full makeup and full professional clothing every day, and I swear, sometimes I wish I worked in a dark filing room because Man almighty, is it hard to keep professional clothes in the in the closet. So you're standing up. Did you want to come over and show them your kitty shirt or do a performance of some sort? <laughs> so guys, um, Mr. Cruise Tips TV is leading a very cool project um, with some of the kids in our community. He is actually putting on a performance of, why can't, it's, what, what's the Scrooge movie called? I'm embarrassed. A Christmas Carol. I just forgot the Scrooge movie. A Christmas Carol. So he has, he and Junior have developed a full script. It is becoming a musical performance. It has costumes. There are several awesome kids in it. And so he is going to be a very busy man in addition to editing um, for the next little bit because obviously we're knee deep in the Harmony of the Seas vlogs. But he's going to be a busy guy um, doing a cool project for the kids in our community. So we're really excited about that. I just wanted to share that. I, I'm, I love that this is a project the boys have taken on and I think it's gonna be so cool. Nick said we could use this brush to put texture on ceilings and walls. That's what stippling is, thank you. <laughs> I know, so anybody know what the stippling brush? Okay, so Ms. Wicked Wanderlust 21 said you could use the stippling brush for cream or liquid products to apply to the skin for a natural skin-like finish. Yes, my foundation brush is getting icky. Thank you, Miss Wicked Wanderlust 21. I shall use it for my foundation. Jerome, you 
still wear professional clothes too, even though you don't deal with customers directly, why do you still do it? Before my husband left the corporate world, Jerome, he was just like you. He worked in high level IT and web development and he still wore a tie to work every day and nobody else did. And that's just how he was comfortable. Um, so I think we can respect that, Jerome. I love it. Yeah, Jerome, they do work for formal nights. I know, so true. Nancy said she loves the Christmas Carol classic, good for you. Yes, it's a lot of work and a lot of coordinating, but the other parents are coming together and helping too. And, you know, you just have to have some creative outlets. So it's going to be fun. He's gonna, it's going to be actually a performance, but it's going to be made into a video. So it will be, we gave the parents a choice. Do you want to do it like a stage play or do we want to make it into a movie? So we've got the green screen going. And everything is really cool and set up, so it's super, super neat. All right, you guys. Yes, it's, I think it's for blending. For those of you who have helped me out tonight with my beauty knowledge deficiencies, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Karen, for looking that up for me. Liquid and cream products, so awesome. I really appreciate it. Mary Miller says, dress for success. Yes, Mary, that is true because when you do dress up, and you, even if you're not feeling good, you feel professional, right? Because you're like projecting that. So I do believe that as well, I think that's good. But sometimes, I just wanna wear jeans to work, which I can do on Fridays, thankfully. Um, so when I go on a cruise, there is never any semblance of anything I would ever wear to work. That's why you'll never see me in a blazer or slacks on a cruise because a blazer, slacks, sweater sets, all that stuff is like, oh, I'm, I, I mean, I don't mind wearing it to work. I guess I don't mind. I think I've been doing it for so long that I'm really used to it, but I really want my vacation clothing to feel different. That's why I'm trying to like, you know, it's, you're gonna see me in resort wear more than anything else. I don't know why I just went off on that tangent. I know, Brooke, you're so lucky with what you get to wear to work. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Pascal, you learn a lot on the live chats. Pascal, you're not learning as much as me. I'm the one who's like taking in all the information here. I have very little beauty knowledge and I'm, I always tell everyone that every bit of beauty knowledge I have gotten from this community because I really didn't start off with it. All right, everybody. That's cool. Yeah, Jerome, you still wear the tie. Why am I not surprised? I love it. <laughs> Seth can't pay you enough to wear a tie. No, I've you wear cool clothes though. You've got really good taste though, Seth. You're give you good fashion sense. So I I think that's awesome. All right, everybody, we are going to go make some dinner. If y'all want to know what we're making, um, Junior and I yesterday cooked up some pineapple chicken tacos. We found a recipe on Pinch of Yum. Pinch of Yum is an awesome blog slash Instagrammer that we follow. She's one of our favorites. Her name is Lindsay. My son and I always look at Lindsay's Instagram feed for recipe ideas. So if you're looking for something yummy, you can make this pineapple chicken in the Instant Pot. And it has chicken breast, pineapple, we actually just put in frozen pineapple, an onion, a jalapeno all chopped up, and then it has yellow mustard, sriracha, and like a half a cup of water, and you just put it in the Instant Pot. Then when it's done, you put it on a baking sheet and you crisp it in the broiler for a few minutes. So it's got like a pineapple-y kind of sugary glaze and then you pop it into your fresh tortillas. And we put a really lovely homemade jalapeno ranch with cabbage on top. So that's what we're gonna go eat tonight. Doesn't it sound good? Brooke, I'll take some pictures of the food. And for those of you who follow us on Instagram, Junior and I, we often put little Instagram stories of our cooking up together. It's really, really, um, basic it's not professional but it is fun and it's a good sunday project for mommy and son and we love to do instagram stories and we've got a story highlight saved if you want to go see some of our past cooking adventures our chili that we've made it's almost always in the instant pot and it's almost always like you know super easy stuff that we just kind of like modify to fit whatever's in our fridge so that's what we're doing tonight thank you all so much for being here i love just hanging out with all of you in this casual environment it's the best and yes, Jerome, that chicken is good, and we're gonna go eat our leftovers right now. I'm gonna cook up, cook up the broiler, get that thing going, and serve dinner within 10 minutes, but thank you all. Thank you, Isabel, and thanks for the compliments on my bulky sweater. Thanks for letting me wear a bulky sweater tonight and not resort wear. It's so nice just to be cozy and comfy and um, hanging out with all of you. So, 
podcast, new podcast coming out on Wednesday, and a live stream. We, we're going to do a live stream this week, aren't we, sweetie? Wednesday night, probably, on our Cruise Tips TV main channel, probably a live stream this Wednesday night, same time, different place. But thank you all for being here. We appreciate all of you. And yes, provecho, Don. Thank you all for being here. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Bye-bye. First mate of the week. Mm.